Hello everyone, and welcome to Ivy's Corner. So today I have, I wanna make this a mostly affordable drugstore products. I have seen most recently, I my lease was up, so um, I bought out the lease, made some money on the car, I sold it and I made some money and I got into a new lease. Um, uh, maybe I'll do a vlog on my new car. Anyways, so I cannot believe how everything has just increased. It's, you know, my family, you know, my husband and I and, and my son, I thank God every day. We are very fortunate to, for the most part, have our health. Uh, I have a great job. Um, my son's in a great public school but I don't know how people are making ends meet. So I, my insurance went up $30 a month just because in the state of Florida, there was a wide state increase. Um, food has been up ridiculously. We went out to dinner the other day because my son didn't have practice and wow, I, I couldn't believe the bill. Anyways, I'm starting to look at a lot of drugstore products and I have been so impressed with, like, I know I've been talking about this, the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. So I started looking at more Essence products. So I'm going to just uh, play with some affordable makeup that I've been using this week and that I'm really, really liking, okay? Today I'm gonna put it to the test because today is Saturday. Um, I have a football game. It, it's beautifully uh, hot and, um, humid so we'll see all right guys so my face is cleansed um i have it's cleared up a lot these are just you know these are the blemishes i had they're settling down this is almost clear um yeah that glycolic niacinamide boosting serum that my esthetician put on really worked all right guys so let's get going um hmm you might be asking, what did I use? I used a cocktail of stuff, like really. Um, I used my Peter Thomas Roth 8% Glycolic Solution in conjunction with my Ordinary Niacinamide. Okay. I also used... Um, this um little um mini set i wanted to try it out so it's by um glow recipe i really liked it i've used that twice already and um i used this bha uh toner by pharmacy and then i would um layer on some of the i swear by this it's the Kyle's uh, Recovery Oil, um, Midnight Recovery Oil. I am almost running out of it. I'm down to here. I'll probably wait for the Sephora sale, but this is amazing. All right, guys, so let's get started. Um, my face is cleansed, but as you guys always know, I like to add on a little bit of moisture. Oh, I'm using this. This is a drugstore product, okay? This, as I, I don't know if you've seen previous videos, my son's um, dermatologist, she recommended this brand, especially for a lot of the hydrating uh, creams. And I saw this and I just love it. So I am going to use the Clarence Beauty Flash Balm, okay? Just to brighten things up a little bit. There we go. When, when my skin's like this, I like to just add on uh, light layers. Okay. I also purchased at Ulta. I purchased the Bobbi Brown uh, Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. Because really, I am in search of my eyes. You know, the aging process, I embrace it. But my eyes show my age. Okay. 
So it's the same as the face base, that same color, same scent. I'm just gonna apply it. It's very light. Hold on. Yeah, babe. Babe? It's very uh, quenching. It's like when you put it on, you feel it, that your skin is absorbing it. And I don't know if there's something in the face space, but when I get that near my eyes, it irritates my eyes to no end. But this one, nothing so far. So that's good. Okay, so that's on. I am going to apply some of my um, PCA Skin Active Broad Spectrum SPF because I am going to be outdoors today. I don't want to apply too much. I mean, I do when I go, I have sunglasses, I have my hat on. So it might seem like a lot, but believe me guys, in order for SPF to work, you need to lay it on. Okay, so that's PC skin. This one. Okay, I'm just, I'm gonna have to wait for it to soak in, okay? So I'll be right back. So another product I've been loving is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser, okay? I did a little bit of research and this came highly recommended it is a clear gel okay so i am going to apply mainly here here and my chin but very light layers again okay and a little bit goes a long way It's very slippy. You saw the dot, the little dot that I applied. So a, a little goes a long way. Again, on my chin and here. And that's it. Maybe fill in these lines that I'm getting here <laughs> around my lips. Patting it in. I'm going to let that settle in. Again, this is the Baby Skin um, Instant Pore Eraser. I purchased two more. Because it was, I think CVS has them buy one, get one 40% off, if I'm not mistaken. Um, something else that I purchased but I haven't tried out yet is the um, Power Grip Primer by e.l.f. Um, so I'm um, excited about using that. We'll see how that goes. So now for the foundation. So I have been using um, for two days now. It's the Essence 16 hour cover and last powder foundation. I think I have it in the color uh, natural. Okay, so for two days this week, I've been using the Essence 16 Hour Cover and Last Powder Foundation. I have it in the color 07 Natural Suede. Okay. It's 
It's one of these compacts that has a little um, sponge. Obviously, it has a mirror. I'm not the. I'm not going to use that. I um, I have been applying it with the um, Sephora Pro Foundation Brush number 47, but I'm going to try. I want to try to keep this um, as low cost as possible. So I am going to apply it with the e.l.f. Um, buffing foundation brush, okay? So I'm just going to press it in. So it is powdery. Hope you can see that. But when it goes on, I'm going to swipe it here. It's like creamy. I don't know how to explain it. So. Now there, it's not a lot of coverage, or at least I, it's very sheer coverage and it's light and I love that. So again, I'm just going to press and swipe, press and swipe. I want something that is going to be light, but also kind of like almost mattify my skin, keep the oiliness at bay. And this, like I said, as far as inside, I mean, I have gone out and it's done perfect. Um, yesterday, uh, I had to go out for an hour during lunch and it was hot and it was great. So now I'm just going to buff. Okay, I could have maybe gone with a darker color, but I, your skin, it doesn't feel powdery. It doesn't feel, it just feels nice. I mean, there we go. There's really no scent to this. Mm. Okay, so for the eyes, I am going to use my Maybelline Instant Erase. I love this stuff. So I'm in the color Sand Sable. So I'd like to apply it on the brush. Now I'm going to apply just a dusting of the essence, brighten up banana powder. Now I'm going to pick up my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze. It. This is in the color um, medium, I believe, 02 medium. Mm -hmm. okay. And for this, I'm taking my IT Cosmetics brush. I think it's the foundation brush. And then I'm going to use the same powder to contour my nose using yet again another IT brush, IT Cosmetics brush, okay? Okay, 
Okay. Okay, now for the eyes, I've got a choice between two great affordable nude palettes. Um, this is the Wet n Wild. Okay, this is the Walking on Eggshells. Okay. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And Elf. This is Cream and Sugar. I've this, I'm almost hitting pan on this, but this little palette, I love it. So this is Cream and Sugar, okay, by Elf. So I think I'm gonna go with um, the Wet n Wild um, Walking on Eggshells. This is Cream and Sugar by Elf, Walking on Eggshells by Wet n Wild. Yeah, okay, so with a knit um, a cosmetics brush, I'm going into the lightest shade. I'm going to apply some on the brow bone. In the inner corner. And then just swipe them over. Okay. And now with a Real Techniques brush, I think I'm going to go in. Yeah, I'm going to use this next color. As crease and um, transition shade. All right, and then I am going with the same brush, I'm going in with this beautiful blush. I would say like a blushy pink color but as you can see there is um look how pretty okay so maybe i'll just do it with my finger instead there we go look how pretty Okay, guys, this makes a beautiful light every day. You're put together. I love this palette. Okay. Okay, guys, the sun's shining through. Okay, now um, eyeliner. This is by NYX. This is the Jumbo Eye Pencil. And this is in the color, I'll tell you right now, Black Bean. Okay. So not completely black, so it comes like in this packaging. And let's see. Okay, yeah, this is nice. Okay, so maybe if I wanna do a little bit of a smoky eye, I'll do that. But let's just see how this goes on. Smudge it up, okay? So it gives me a little bit of thickness here at the ends. Okay. There's a Real Techniques brush again. I think this was part of um, uh, a set. Look how beautifully it's smudging out. There we go. Perfect. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with my NYX eyebrow micro eyebrow pencil and taupe and I'm going to use the e.l.f. brow lift and apply some mascara the essence lash princess in the green um lettering okay and i'll be right back okay guys eyes are done i am running a little late so i need to hurry 
um, I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to use the same brush I used for my foundation. I'm going to use the Essence Blush in Bespoke. This blush, this color is gorgeous. It's such a beautiful, has a little bit of a sheen in it, but it's that beautiful, look at that, oh my gosh. Neutral, tan. Wow. And then I just put a little bit around my face, over my nose. Don't want to overdo it, but I'm loving this blush. Okay, guys. Then for the lips, I've been using the uh, Milani Highly Rated Diamond um, Lip Gloss with... I'm using it in combination with the Milani um, Lipstick in... Secret, A30 Secret, okay. So with these I have found, since they're almost matte, there's no need for um, lip liner. Mm, beautiful. Then, I'll top it off with the Milani Diamond Lip Gloss. Mm, I'm loving this combination. All right, guys. This is my look. Um, yeah, the hair's going to stay like this, guys. <laughs> Obviously, I picked it up. But, okay. If you like this look, if you um, found this video helpful, guys, I've been loving these amazing affordable products. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, spread the word, and I'll see you soon. Bye.